beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another retro recipe test. Today I'm going to be making 7-Up salad. So many of you chimed in via social media that you wanted to see this recipe made and tasted, so here I am today with my jello mold. Let me take you into the kitchen and show you what I did to get to this stage. So in a medium saucepan we're going to heat our 7-Up along with our mini marshmallows. We're going to bring this up to a boil on medium heat and keep stirring this until everything is completely dissolved. So once our marshmallows have dissolved, we're gonna add one small packet of lime jello. Mix that up until the jello is well incorporated. And then we're going to add our cream cheese. You might wanna cut this up into pieces a little bit to help it dissolve. And keep stirring this on medium, medium low heat until you have this ectoplasmic ooze color and all the cream cheese is melted. Next, we're gonna add our crushed pineapple and our maraschino cherries. Now we're gonna take this off the heat and in a large bowl, we're gonna combine our Cool Whip and our mayonnaise. Mix that together and then add our green jello mixture to that. Then we're gonna mix this all together and then we're gonna pour it into our mold. And we're gonna place it into the refrigerator and chill it for at least six hours it's best to do it overnight. And dun, 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 here we are with our jello mold. This is actually a pudding mold, that's why it has this lid, more of like a traditional figgy duff or figgy pudding, something like that, or bread pudding. Unlock it, and there it is. It smells like mayonnaise, I definitely smell some mayonnaise. It smells just slightly vinegared. Yeah, but this is definitely going to be sweet. There is a ton of sugar in this. Before we continue, I should mention that I have a retro recipe playlist. I'll put the link there and there. And if you are at all interested in gelatins or ring molds, that is definitely a place of much joy. All right, now let us try to get this out. In my past experience, what I've done is I've taken a bowl of water. I don't want it to be too hot. We're gonna take a thin paring knife and kind of loosen it. What we're trying to do is trying to get some air in there so it'll release. So I'm going to put that in there for just a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quick ten seconds. That was just warm water. Here we go. Now let's shake. Did it come out? No. Oh. Let's try that again. Uh. So I've got some more hot tap water. Let's try that again, shall we? Now, let's try this again. Let's do it for another 10 seconds. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. Let's do it in five seconds. Just added measure. A good measure. Okay, okay. Now, place this back on top like this. And here we go. Ugh. All right. It's not coming out. <laughs> Try our knife technique. Okay. Oh, you know why? <sighs> I forgot to go around here. Yeah, that's why. <sighs> All right, let's try more hot water. Let's give it a longer bath. Probably the most aggravating part of these jello molds is getting it out because if you soak it too long you end up melting the exterior of your jello which isn't so fun so that was probably another 15 seconds all right okay jello mold be good to me this is silly <sighs> It's 
definitely still stuck in there. <sighs> this is so much fun. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's not coming out. Let's try an offset spatula. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I just heard it release. <sighs> All right, so I just heard it go. <laughs> and I believe it's come out. Ready? Here we go. <sighs> that was the most satisfying sound ever. My jello just farted. Yes. I'm so happy. Yes, look at that. Perfection. 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 Look at that. My mint green tower of mayo. So that little bit of aggravation that happens when you're trying to get the thing out, well, it's worth it when it comes out like this. Yes. So for a little extra holiday flair, I'm going to add a little bit of holly. Of course, you don't want to eat the holly. Holly is poisonous, I believe. Who's going to eat the holly when this is so beautiful? All right, all right, all right. I'm so happy that it came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you use holly, be careful because it's spiky. Oh, wouldn't Martha be proud of me? Look how beautiful that is. It makes it look so elegant. Oh, yes. Dude. Look at this mint green wonder. Isn't it amazing? It is satisfying all of my retro recipe wishes, hopes, and dreams. All right, let's cut into this and see what it's like. I do have to say I'm a bit concerned. I can definitely smell mayonnaise. I didn't think I would with all the other things that are going on, but I do smell it. So down in the description, you'll find a link to the original post where I found this. In that blog post, she talks about not tasting the mayonnaise at all and that this dish is required at all of their family holiday meals and they've been making it for three generations, so they love it. So perhaps the mayonnaise can be excused. Let's find out. Ooh, it's definitely not as jelloey as I expected. You have to kind of use a sawing motion. There is pineapple and a good amount of cherries in there, so. Ooh, boy. All right, here's my plate of 7-Up salad. All right, let's get a bite with everything. Happy holidays. Itadakimasu. Let me try a bite without the cherry. Yeah, it's actually not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, certainly not delicious in my opinion, but it's not bad. If I can divorce the idea that there's mayonnaise in here, then I'm okay with it. In terms of a dessert idea, it kind of reminds me of soft serve ice cream, kind of soft and level of sweetness about the same, a little bit of vanilla flavor, but this has got some lemon lime things going on because we have the seven up and the lime jello. But texturally, it's a little bit different because you've got the crushed pineapple in there. So it does require a little bit of chewing. Yeah, so in that sense, it's actually not bad. You really don't taste the mayonnaise, but since I made it and I know that it's in there, I really have to try hard to ignore the fact that I know that it's in there. It adds a little bit of salt to it and some added richness. I actually don't taste the vinegar, although I do smell it. It does leave a lime jello aftertaste, that artificial lime flavor along with that distinctive gelatin flavor, which is a little bit odd, but there's lime gel in there, so I shouldn't be surprised. In terms of flavor, I don't like the inclusion of the maraschino cherries. I don't like the flavor nor the texture, but in terms of color, 
I think it's great. It's really festive, really appropriate for the holidays. So there you have it, 7-Up Salad. If you're a fan of ambrosias or those molded jello desserts with whipped cream, I think you'll probably really like this. Or if you're hosting a retro dinner party, I think this would be amazing to serve because it has all the signature qualities of a good retro dessert. It's molded, it contains jello, it contains mayonnaise. Amazing. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media so you can see what videos I'm up to. And yeah, have a happy holidays, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. <laughs>